Hey guys, what is up? It is no help and welcome back to another video today. Today we're going to be doing smithing gold in the blast furnace for an hour. I'm pretty excited about this one. We're going to get a lot of smithing XP, which we need. What you're going to need to do this is having ice gloves and goldsmith gauntlets. Most of you will probably already have ice gloves. They're used in a lot of quests. And if you do not have them, you get them from killing the ice queen in the white wolf mountain. Um, just look up a guide on how to get them you will have to kill this the ice queen however i think it can be safe spotted i don't quote me on that but it's very easy to get and then the goldsmith gauntlets are a reward from the family crest quest which is a very easy quest to do you only need like level 40s in the certain skills to get and you can get cooking gauntlets and change them to goldsmith gauntlets very helpful quest to get out of the way but the goldsmithing gauntlets are pretty much needed for this method because you'll getting you'll be getting a lot more xp with using these You'll only be needing level 40 smithing to do this, and this is one of the best experience rates in the entire game. You will lose a lot of money, however, but that's how it is to gain fast XP. And as for the gear I take is you're going to need as much graceful as you can. I have every piece of graceful besides the gloves because you will be using these two gloves in this method. And you will be needing a lot of gold ore and a little bit of cash to start out because you have to put some cash in the deposit box hopper type thing and it will slowly decrease and uh, you will also need to be on a blast furnace world. Just hop over to your world hop and there'll be a bunch of blast furnace worlds. Just go to anyone that's located wherever you are. And there should be tons of people here. If you do not do this in a blast furnace world, you will not be getting these XP rates because there is a lot of things you have to do, like fix the things. And I don't even know what to do because you don't need to if you're in a blast furnace world. Where we are is at the blast furnace in Keldegrim. Um, basically from the Grand Exchange, you can take a thing here. You will need to complete the giant dwarf quest or at least start the quest in order to use this method. And um, then after that, you can just use the mini games teleport under the mini games teleport you will see blast furnace and then you can just click that and you'll teleport right here to this location so once you come here the first time it's pretty easy to get to then you can just hop to the blast furnace world all right so once you're in here just go down the stairs as you can see there is a lot of people here at the very top this little coffer is slowly draining my gp you need to have gp in here in order to do this method so i'll go ahead and put like a hundred maybe 200k in here and uh, I'll show you the example. Actually, I'll just put like 5k in to show you the example. Just click the coffer when you have money. And deposit coins. All of them. As you can see, the money will start going down now. So you kind of have to do this quick. But uh, this is how I have my bank set up. Pretty much all I have in one tab is gold ore and energy potions. You will be needing to use energy potions if you want your coffer money to uh, go down a lot slower because you're going to be running the whole time and you'll be getting a lot faster experience rates. So I highly recommend energy potions or even stamina potions. But pretty much all you have to do is equip your gold gauntlets. Take out some gold ore. And then you have to run and deposit into the conveyor belt. Keep your goldsmith gauntlets on or you won't get this nice 1.5k drop. If you try to take them out, of course it's going to work with the example, but usually you can't take them out right away and you're going to have to switch over to the ice gloves because they will be too hot. You can quickly deposit all of your gold bars, run back to the bank, deposit them, and grab some more gold ore. Very fast smithing experience this way. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and reset my total XP. All reset. Do this method for a full hour today. I hope 8200 gold is enough. See how much uh, money we lose pretty much um, from doing this. So basically what I mean by that is a gold ore is worth 165. And a gold bar is worth 90. So you will be losing quite a bit of money doing this method. But you're going to be getting so much XP that it's just worth it. So oh yeah, I will be doing this for a full hour today. Seeing how many levels and how much experience we get. See you guys in an hour. Well, that's the hour. All right, so we started the hour with 8,292 gold ore, 
and we made in the hour 4,854. So we almost did 5,000. The wiki said about five to 6,000, so we're pretty much there. Pretty good XP rates. Um, if you do AFK like I did a little bit in the hour, I would highly recommend you just go out of here. Just climb up the stairs if you want to AFK for like five to 10 minutes, if you need to go do something because your uh, money will drain. But if you go upstairs, it will not drain. I put 200K in the coffer at the start of the hour. And now we are at 119k, so we only used about, what, 81k in the hour, so not too expensive. But, uh, yeah, we did lose all that money off of the gold. Okay, so gold ore is worth 164 each, and gold um, bars are worth 90 each. So to, to buy all the gold ore, it would cost roughly um, 800k, roughly. And you could sell it back, and you would um, sell it back for 436k. So this would leave you a costing for an hour of 358k. It would cost you plus the 81k to use the blast furnace. So it costed about 440k an hour to use the blast furnace. This is just rough estimations, depending on how much you do, obviously. So around 440 to 450k it costs per hour. But as for experience, 268k an hour. This is amazing. Like this is so good, so worth doing. Um, I will leave a link in the description if you are an Iron Man, you want to buy gold aura. I made a video about that recently, and you guys can go and check that out. I think I got about 5,000, around roughly around 5,000 gold an hour. So you can buy it for an hour and then do it for an hour, and you can gain 260. 68k, almost 270k smith thing. I almost gained three levels in this hour. Freaking so good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. See ya later.